Hi, Hiram here. Last week I did some tests on this Vargo Titanium Hexagon wood stove that I received from one of my viewers. Um, I was doing tests of using it with a Trangia. Since then I've gotten a couple of messages asking basically two questions. Why aren't I using this with wood? For one, the answer to that is what I like to do, well one thing, there's lots of videos out there of people using this with wood. Any wood stove that I get, I like to try it out with a Trangia or other ways of uh, making fire in it. In case you're stuck somewhere in the rain, you should always carry alcohol or something with you. And I just like to see how these things work using alcohol burners. Like I said, there's tons of videos out there, good videos, people using these with wood. So why should I duplicate that? The other thing, <coughs> excuse me, the other thing, messages that I've gotten is people saying, stop using this with a Trangia burner. That the only alcohol burner it's meant to work with is the Vargo Titanium, or, yeah, Vargo Titanium Triad burner. This is an alcohol burner put out by the same people. Uh, I don't know, I find that a little hard to believe. I've never had a lot of luck with this thing in the past. But I thought today, in fairness, I'll give it a try. So what I have to do now is fill this up with alcohol, which in this case, you have to fill this up so that there's alcohol actually setting up here on this top dish. I'm going to fill it up, measure it, and then I'll put it in the hexagon like that. Also, I have to get my water to temperature, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my water set. I've got alcohol in here. There's about 32.1 grams of methanol in here so that it's up into the dish of this burner. Let me light it. See if we can get it to a bloom. Like I said, I've never had a lot of luck with this burner. Okay, I don't know if I should Let's make sure it lights. Then I'll put the pot on. What I'm going to do is turn this stove around so that camera 2 can see into the door when I open it up. Okay, it looks like I have a bloom now. Let me just turn this around. Two cups of water. Setting at 59 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, we're three minutes into the test. The temperature now is 144 degrees. I think you can see it's a pretty nice blue flame. Some yellow coming out in time. Let me open the door here real quick. Okay, it looks like that looks like the best flame I've ever had coming out of that. Hmm. Well, there's a little yellow. Okay, so let's let this test go on. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 614. Okay, that was two cups of water starting at 59 degrees. Let me just take this off. I want to try to get a uh, level here of how much alcohol was used. Okay, that worked better than I thought. Two cups of water starting at 59 degrees came to a full boil in 6 minutes and 14 seconds. The only thing is, when I did the test using a mini Trangia, just setting on the, you know, on the bottom of this hexagon, just like so, that was two cups of water starting at 59 degrees also came to a boil in six minutes and eleven seconds wow that's hot 
So that does get hot. You have to handle this with gloves. I just touched the side of my knuckle with that. Didn't burn myself, but I felt it. So you got to be careful with these metal. You know, like always, you got to be careful. But anyway, not a whole lot of difference there in my mind. So maybe this does work better. This was the best flames and stuff I've seen on this uh, triad. So maybe it does need to work with a windscreen to get the heat built up. Okay, that's out. So as soon as that cools off, I'll be able to take a measurement of how much alcohol was used. I would put it down here so that you can see it rather. Okay, so for those that said that only the uh, Vargo alcohol stove would work in here to get it to work, I don't know. Looks like the Mini Trangia does just as good, and I, this is my favorite commercial burner. Hmm, just running through my head here. <laughs> okay, so I hope that helps. I know I'll still get messages that I did something wrong here, but this is what came out. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.